Hi, in this learning bike, you will learn what an HRIS is and what its functionalities are, so stay tuned. HRIS stands for Human Resources Information System. And it's the most used software in HR. Specifically, the HRIS is used to collect and store data on an organization's employees. In most cases, an HRIS encompasses the basic functionalities needed for an end-to-end -end human resources management. It has a system for recruitment, performance management, learning and development, and more. The HRIS is often referred to as HRIS software. This is a bit misleading because it implies that different systems may have different software running on them. This is luckily not the case, as an HRIS is essentially a software package. Now, the human resource information system can either run on the company's own technical infrastructure, or what's more common nowadays is cloud-based. This means that the software is running outside of the company's premises, which makes it much easier to update for the software provider. For future references and to avoid confusion, it's useful to keep in mind that other commonly used names for human resource information system are HRIS and HRMS, or Human Resources Management System. These are all different words for what is ultimately the same thing. Collectively, these systems are also called human capital management systems, two terms that are oftentimes used interchangeably. Since you are now familiar with what an HRIS is, let's dive into its functionalities and benefits. Using an HRIS has a number of benefits. These include 1. An HRIS is essential for accurate record keeping. It is a central system that contains all the employee data and can therefore be seen as the single source of truth when it comes to employee data. 2. Another benefit is that the system forces professionals to be compliant with regulations. Some data is mandatory to keep track of. Think about citizen identification information for the tax office, expiration dates for mandatory certification, identification of employees in case of theft or fraud, first contact information, and so on. An HRIS enables an organization to make it mandatory for HR professionals to insert this information into the HR system. 3. Because all this essential data are stored in one central place, requesting data and making decisions on it is much faster. 4. In line with the previous point, an HRIS also enables data reporting and analytics, which is helpful in initiating HR policies and executing HR strategy. 5. Last but not least, an HRIS enables self-service HR. This enables employees and managers to manage their own affairs. When this is done right, the HRIS can add to the employee experience. However, keep in mind that not all HRIS systems offer all these benefits in a user-friendly manner. Using an HRIS starts to become useful from 30 to 50 employees, at which point managing employees' basic information in Excel becomes cumbersome and simple procedures like approving employee holidays need to be standardized. So in this bite, you've learned what an HRIS is and what benefits and value it can bring to your organization. If you want to learn more details about the HRIS, check out our written article that you can find in this video's description. Also, in our next learning bite, we'll talk about the implementation of an HRIS in six steps, so stay tuned. If you enjoyed today's bite, make sure you stay up to date with our micro learning bites by subscribing to our channel. Also, if you like this video, please like and share it, and I'll see you soon in our next learning bite. Thank you.